meet you. Oh, oh welcome. Oh, thank you. Please sit down. Oh, thank you. Now, Donnie, I'm slightly starstruck with you, you know. Why? Because I was in awe of you on Strictly. I miss it so much. Do you still dance, darling? I mean, no. Not unless I'm in the club. Well, not unless you have a handsome gentleman that you want to cut a mean rap with. I can do with. a little bit of a rumble with. <laughs> <laughs> snake hips. I need someone that's got snake hips. Oh, bit of snake hips. You should do Strictly. What do you mean she's done it? When? Chelsea makes her way upstairs to see the agents. On our first date with George, it's safe to say it didn't get off to the best start. I don't actually remember what you was got. <laughs> you don't know my name. But the real problem was with his age. Yeah, so I'm actually 22 today. You're a baby. Ah, that's what everyone wants to hear on their birthday. Hello, darling. How is everybody? Nice to see you. Like the flow. Thank you. The vibe. How are you? I'm excited, yeah. But welcome. Thank you. Welcome to the agency. How exciting. Tell us about this date. You picked George. I did, yeah. How'd it go? I just couldn't get through thinking about how young he was. That's a barrier for me. We've got feedback. Oh, no, I don't, please, I don't even want to say. Three things that your celeb date could improve on in future dates. Oh, here dates. we go, OK. Not swearing too much. I, t I swear without even thinking about it. Manners. <laughs> Did you not think I had manners? It's hard to see why he thought that. Could this be your normal scene for a date? I'm just going to put my children there, so I'm not. <laughs> I'm sorry, I really need to burp. I'm going to love you and I'm going to leave you and you enjoy the rest of your birthday. I will be. Bye bye. Oh, yeah. You want a mature guy because yes. you keep talking about age. Yeah. Age is important, age is important. But yet, on this date. I wasn't mature. You weren't mature. Mm, do you know what I think it is for me? I think it's just the drink. I think it turns me into a different person. But it seems like you're doing that to cover up for a deeper issue. Yeah. Your ex. How did that separation happen? We, we fell out of love with each other. It was just hard. We, I kept going back just because of my daughter. Yeah. It's OK, sweetie. No, because I feel bad for it. Because I, I have everything I didn't want her coming from my broke home. It just didn't work out. It's just more where she's my first priority. And, I don't know, yeah, I just want to do right by her. Right. You know what's beautiful? We're all parents. Yeah. So we all understand the importance and the priority that our children have in yeah. our life. When you're going out there, you're looking at a guy in almost two senses of it. It's for you and my daughter, as in, yeah. are you going to be good enough for me as a whole? Yeah. It's just yeah. a bit overwhelming, that's all. Oh, I didn't think that we'd go that deep today. <laughs> Neither did I. These deep dives get me every time. <laughs> Tell us about the guy that you're looking for. Let's talk about right. that. Right, so <laughs> I need someone that's good looking, someone that's cheeky, got a little something about him, knows what they want, and it's not about the party scene, basically. We have that. Baby, we've delivered. <gasps> yes. All right, take a look. Okay. So here we go. Bam. Oh, so this is Mike. Uh, he's a wind turbine engineer. What are wind turbines, though? Yeah, what exactly are wind turbines? She's right to be suspicious. Well, the, the, they, they, <gasps> oh, yeah. they twist yeah, yeah. the thing. Yeah. All right, all right, let's not get too technical. OK. Here's my ask is uh, alcohol is cool. We know this, yeah. right? But you said that you turn into, like, another Chelsea. So here's my ask. Just one. OK. One? Better make it a bucket. Wow, check out those sexy waders. Judging by Mike's picture, I mean, he looks cute. And um, the agent said he's got a really interesting job, something to do with planes. Planes? No, it's wind turbines. Remember, the twizzly things. Hi, uh, evening. Hello, are you OK, please? Very well. May I order a porn star martini? Absolutely. Can you have a, a big one, a large one? <laughs> Absolutely, sure. Better put it in a goldfish bowl. She's only allowed one. Across town, one drink Chelsea might beg to differ as she contemplates kicking wind turbine engineer Mike in the twizzly thing for being an hour late. Where is this guy? Oh, thank you so much. No problem. Thank you. Martini. Finally, let's meet the man. Hi, my name's Mike. I'm 31 from Blackpool. I've never done anything like this before. Coming on here for a bit of fun. 
Let's go ahead and see how it goes. A bit of fun? Oh, Lord, God, Jesus. Good luck with that. Hey, Charles, you all right? Nice to meet you. Oh, Mate. my gosh, you're so... He's bloody massive. You sure he ain't a wind turbine? I ordered me drink because I was waiting for so long. No wonder he fixes and we can f***ing reach them. Do you normally keep women waiting like this? No, the train was late. Oh, really? Um, all right, his train was late. That's not his fault. I just hope that he's worth the wait, cos I didn't get this dressed up for nothing. So, you're on Hollyoaks, then? I, I don't... Am, I've never yeah. seen Hollyoaks. Oh, here we go. OK. So... So I yeah. actually didn't really know who you were. Oh, really? Yeah. OK. I've got a good feeling about this date. So how long have you been doing that for? Acting. No, badminton. Of course it's acting. What goes on in her head? It's all I've ever done. I am beginning to regret promising Paul that I'd limit my drink tonight. This is hard work. Do you like fish? Not in the mood for fish. Yeah. Not in the mood for this date, by the looks of it. What do you do? Because I've heard a little bit about your career. So have you ever seen a wind turbine before? No. Is that a film? Yeah, although I did prefer wind turbine to myself. No. <laughs> it's a big windmill that spins around. Oh, wow, well, OK. Right? Big, tall thing mm. with three blades and they spin. The wind turns them and they send electricity to land. I live oh. out at sea for two weeks at a time, really. I didn't even know that they exist, never mind someone that works yeah. fixing it. <laughs> oh, I mean, I'm hardly blown away by his chat. I've got a feeling this is going to be a long night. All right, I'm not a big fan of turbine chat either, but at least he's trying, Chels, unlike you. I'll show you a picture of <laughs> later on. This takes dick pics to a whole new level. Whereabouts are you from? Uh, Blackpool. So what, do you get the train straight to Blackpool, then? Trying to get rid of them, are you, Chels? Yeah, I've got it to Preston and to Poulton. It's only two trains, though, so it wasn't oh, too bad. Oh, that's so long, though, two mm. trains. Guys, save your sexy transport chat for day two, please. Go on, ask some questions. Where's your favourite place you've ever been? Mm. Have you ever been to Florida? No. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I went to Florida and every day for the whole week, which we went to a different theme park. Oh, you're not going to go to Bush Gardens tonight? I forgot what I was going to say. This is horrendous. I think I need to excuse myself and go and phone Paul and get some advice. Right, I'm literally just going to go and sort myself out, so... I'll be back in a minute. Those toilets must be freezing. Um, well, at least he won't feel lonely in this busy restaurant. Hello. Hi, Paul. Oh, am I glad to hear Hello. your voice. <laughs> How's it going? Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's not for me. It's just a bit draining and, like, I need something that I can work with. So, what do you believe is the right thing to do right now? Honestly, it would be call it a day. It's all right, mate. Just the two trains back to Blackpool. At least see the dinner through. Yeah. And then you leave. OK, OK. You never know. If anyone can engineer a turnaround, it's Mickey Windmills. Seem older than 31. Do I? Mm. <laughs> when are you 32? Uh, July. Why? Are you thinking of sending a card? Yeah, 32. Oh, I am really not feeling this. But Paul told me I've got to see through dinner before I can do one. But he didn't tell me I couldn't speed eat. It's a good steak, that. Oh, nice. Oh, that's lovely. Anyone else got indigestion right now? Gavis gone for table three. That was amazing. Oh, are you done? No. <laughs> He's still going. He's barely started. I probably have to shoot now. What? The poor fella's still eating. Yeah, but, Sorry. um, thank you so mm. much. Savage. Bye. Bye. I think Paul meant you should leave once you've both finished. I just didn't feel it one little bit. It was just quite draining. I know it's really rude and everything, but I just kind of wanted to get out of there. She's literally doing a runner from him and the bill. Look at her go. Cheers, mate. That's uh, no problem. I'm going to pay at the bar, mate. Absolute stitch up. She's a nice girl, but I felt uncomfortable, to be fair. Well, cheers for that. F you know, yeah. probably one of the most awkwardest dates I've ever had.